best buds it's Kathy with Kathy's garden I love making everything that has to do with junk journals if this is something you enjoy too please subscribe you guys we're into our series junk journal flowers series number two is with embellishments aren't these absolutely precious the little pins with the charms on the end that go in between the petals let me show you how I made them so we have our pretty little flowers here that um, we're going to put some um, stick pins with the little charms on okay so you will need to pick yourself up some of these eye pins now eye pins come in different um, different types of eye pins I guess here's a different one this one has a little ball on the end of it. You could use that, but you wouldn't be able to put your charm on the end of it. And they come in different colors. If you want to use the, uh, the gold colored or the um, antique colored, you could choose those. You do find them in the jewelry department in uh, Hobby Lobby or Joann's. You can order them online. You don't want this kind. It's like a pin. It doesn't have a a loop on the end or you can make your own if you have the supplies you could go ahead and make your own if you choose to do that all right so we've got that first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide okay let's make a stick pin for this beautiful little blue flower isn't it absolutely precious oh my goodness um, and I've got some lovely beads I've got these smaller ones as long as they fit on your eye pin, you can use them. I've got these pretty blue ones that we could use. I have some pearls. I have some sparkly ones. Look at those. Ooh. I have, um, I have a larger box. I've got some white ones. I've got some pink ones sparkly ones, all different kinds. So that's what you'll need to get together, your beads, so that you can make yourself your beautiful stick pin for your beautiful little flower. So I'm going to put the charm on the end first. So you'll need some of these rings. And I use these pliers right here. That's how I hang on to the ring. I open it up and then I'm able to slip my charm on there. Let's choose this cute little angel wing. Can you see that? Cute little angel wing. Let's slip that right on there. Oh, I got to open it up a little more. I hope everyone had a lovely holiday. I know I did with my family. It was just really, really nice to get together. And of course, we couldn't get together a lot of big groups, but we don't have that big of a family anyway. So it was awesome. Truly enjoyed it. Oh, here comes a siren. <laughs> my husband calls them sirens. Oh, my stars, you guys. Oh, it's a fire truck. Um, they're going to go help somebody. <laughs> so I hadn't been married to him very long. And my daughter and I and my husband, we were on the front porch. And um, <laughs> we were on the front porch and all of a sudden a siren went by. And my new husband said, it's a siren. <laughs> my daughter and I looked at each other and went, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what he calls them. He calls them sirens. I know I probably offended some people because that's what they call them. And they think, oh, why can't you call them sirens? I don't know. It just sounded really funny to me because I'd never heard anybody call them a siren. I thought that was really funny. It made me laugh. That's for sure. Okay. So let's choose this pretty blue because look how pretty that looks with that. Oh, that's going to be scrumptious with the little angel wing. And then let's go ahead and um, maybe think about, let's see if I can show this. 
this one this one's very very pretty you don't want to pick any that are huge because your flower is just a tiny little thing so you don't want to overpower your flower you just want a little added um, embellishment to your flower if the hole does not fit um, it's not big enough for your eye ring just put it back in your container and pick another one up you'll be able to use that um, for something else so just put it back in and go on to the next one it will be perfect for something else oh you guys isn't that sweet can you see that oh my goodness it's very pale and it's going to be beautiful in there so beautiful all right so the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to anchor that those beads onto that eye pin now i tried a couple different things um this is the thing that i tried that worked the very best when i was experimenting with how i was going to keep those on there and what it is is i get just get a little piece of paper scrap piece of paper and i get my um e6000 glue and i just put a tiny bit because it does go tacky very quickly and just put that down and where on earth did my um little toothpick go all right i found my toothpick let me get these so you can see just a little better i need to move up just a little bit for you guys to see scoot up in my chair there we go there now you can see a little better i've just got a little tiny bit of glue and i'm going to get just a little bit on my end of my i can't even see that end of my toothpick and I'm going to just apply it to the base of the last bead. Need just a little bit more. This is what I found to be the best, and I tried all kinds of things. I'm going to set that down right there. I'm going to move this over, and we're going to work on our next one. So let's do one for this beauty. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? All right, so we'll get our eye pin. We'll look and see, oh, which one of these charms do we want to put on there? Let's put Believe on there. Believe. So we're going to get a little ring. We're going to have to open it up so that we can get it on there. Slip it on. Slip it on the end of your eye pin. Close it back up. Close that back up very well. there that's nice and closed is that even in focus so we've got believe on the end and let's select oh my goodness what are we going to select for this how about if we use these pretty um, coppery looking ones and then um, I have some of these these are beautiful very shiny but if we use a couple of those we're just going to put it right in there some of these different things you don't need too many like I said you don't want to make this too big because it's such a um, oh, I've lost it in there come here come here it's such a small little flower there isn't that pretty Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I'm going to get a few in my hand and just 
slip them on. Maybe let's try let's try three and then let's try another one of these sparkly ones. Look at the bleed. Isn't that sweet? Very, very sweet. Let's get a couple more of the smaller coppery ones. That one's too little. Drop it back down in the container. Don't want to waste it. Just go for another one. Let's put another one of these on there. That's really turning out lovely and it's really lovely with this flower as well. I do think we need to make it just a tad longer by um, putting a few more of the smaller copper beads. Too, too little. What are y'all going to do for New Year's? Do you have plans? I plan on staying home. <laughs> I've stayed home for years. I used to go out when I was younger, but I don't anymore. My husband and I stay home, and uh, usually whoop, it's already uh, gotten too tacky, so we're going to need just a little bit more glue on here. We're going to stay home. It's just around the corner, guys. Just around the corner. The new year, 2021. Eat cats. 2021 eat cats. Okay, put that right there. To dry. Okay, so next, let me take some that are already dried that I made earlier. I made this one, isn't that pretty, and I chose to put it with this gray. So let me show you how I do that. Um, I moved that glue, so let me get me some fresh glue. That was getting kind of big and gloppy. I want some glue and we're going to kind of look and eyeball it. See, I don't want it to stick out a long ways because it is a short little flower. I also look to see, let me hold it like this. Can you see that it's a little lower right here? That's where I'm going to choose to stick the stick pin. That way it will lay flatter and that way you can put it in your journals and it won't get too bulky for you. So I put glue on the end. I'm going to pull down this petal, pull it down, and I'm going to stick it right in there where we glued the petals together. I'm going to hold it for just a few minutes because you know how fast this gets tacky. Then I am going to lay it down, put this up real quick, lay it down and make sure that it is flat, that it's going to dry flat so that when you put it in that journal, it's going to be perfect. So let's do this pretty little brown one. And this is the one I made for this pretty brown one. Once again, we're going to take our clippers and we're going to clip it off. Don't clip the glue off. Don't clip it up so high you lose your glue. You do see that I still have glue on the end. I did not clip it that close. Put yourself some more of that glue on the end. Find yourself the lowest point of the petals, which is right here. Lift up the petals and stick it right in there. Hold it firmly for a few minutes, set it aside so it dries flat. You want it to dry flat, very, very important. I have this beautiful red one, look how beautiful this one is, and I made this beautiful pin that says love on there. 
So we're going to go ahead and clip it. Once again, we're not clipping it. The glue is right there at the end. We're going to not clip that glue off. Very important. We're going to look to see what's the lowest section. Right here is the lowest one. I'm going to peel back the petal. I'm going to get myself some glue on the end of this. Got my glue. I'm going to put it right in there. I'm going to hold it for just a few moments firmly. I'm going to lay it flat. Oh, you guys. These are so beautiful. Let's go ahead and make our ones that we made earlier. The glue is dry enough. I'm going to push this aside. And we're going to get our glue. And we're going to snip just a little bit off of this once again. And we're going to put some glue on the bottom. Look for the lowest point. It's right here. We're going to pull the petal back and we're going to stick that right here. Hold it firmly for just a moment and then set it aside. This brown one, where's my other one? Wait, this brown one to go with this one? Is that what we did? I got a little confused when I pushed things away. I think we did. It goes perfect anyway, so we can go ahead and put it on there even if we hadn't planned. Get yourself some glue on here. Find your lowest point. Lift the petals back. Place it in. Firmly hold it down. So I pins just a little bit. I'm going to bend it back so it lays a little flatter. Mm -hmm. I want it to lay flat. There we go. You guys, I had really enjoyed making these. If you enjoyed watching and you like making them too, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be the flowers in your junk journals. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.